Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Delaney and for today's video we're going to be doing another collection video of my ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I want to show you swatches of every single shadow that I have so if you're looking at getting some Super Shock shadows and I have one of the shades you are thinking about then you can see what the shades look like in action. So this is not a declutter video, this is just a collection video, but I hope you enjoy nonetheless. So if you are interested in seeing all the swatches of my ColourPop Super Shock shadows, then keep on watching. I did want to mention before we get started that I do have the Is This Real Life uh, Super Shock Shadow Vault. This is an old vault. I don't think it's available still, but every time around the holidays, they usually do some kind of vault for Super Shock Shadows, so do keep that in mind. And the shades that are in the vault, I believe, are still existing shades. So, yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that before we dive in, but this is what the vault actually looks like. You get 25 shadows in the vault and then I have some just on their own as well but yeah I just wanted to quickly show you all that but let's go ahead and dive into the swatches and all of the different shades let's start off with the first shade number one we have this beautiful light pink shade and it is called bubbly so here is the shade bubbly and I'm going to swatch it on my hand gorgeous so it kind of has some pink it's mostly a transparent base with a hint of pink in the background but it has a lot of pink and white reflex in there so it kind of has a little bit of a pink base with white slash champagne -y reflex this is a beautiful shade very reminiscent of some pink moscato pink bubbly champagne like kind of shade love that very very pretty you do need to build this shade up for full opacity but as you can see that was a one swipe swatch so yeah this is a gorgeous shade <laughs> this is shade poly and this is one of the most more recent ones she's pretty she's gorgeous she looks very similar though to bubbly but you can see that this has a different undertone so let's go ahead and swatch it next to each other so this one is bubbly and this one is poly. As you can see, it's definitely a warmer pink and it has brighter gold reflex in there. And the base is a little bit more warm toned pink than the bubbly shade, but both are really stunning. I mean, wow, look at that. Ugh, I love how glittery these are. The glittery finish ones are my absolute favorite. Now we have the shade Twitter Padded, which is a very similar pink, but this is definitely more on the gold side. I'm interested to see these swatched next to each other. This is a, a little bit older and the obviously this one in the pink is much newer. So we're gonna see really what the difference is. But this is a very well loved shade. Obviously the embossment is gone and it actually has a big hole in it because I've used this so, so much. So this is Twitter padded and let's go ahead and swatch it. All right, so they definitely swatch differently. This one definitely has more of a transparent base, whereas the poly shade above it has a little bit more of a deeper, warmer toned pink. They both have gold reflex, but the Twitter padded one is definitely more sheer. Still a gorgeous shade though. Definitely has more of that yellow gold reflect, and the other ones are just more like hyper glittery. This one's glitter too, but it's more of a glitter topper. Very, very pretty. And I actually have never swatched these next to each other before, so this is telling me a lot. Um, but yeah, I love each and every one of these. Just looking at my hand right now, I'm mesmerized by the glitter. I love it. They look very similar when you just hold them up to each other, but then when you swatch them, obviously you can definitely tell the difference. So next up, we have another pink shade. You're gonna be like, why do you have so many pinks? Well, I love pink. <laughs> this one's a little bit deeper. You can already tell that it's a deeper pink. This is called Set to Stun. This has some bright blue reflex in there. I love shining the flashlight up to it because you really can see all the different colors in here. This is such a multi-dimensional Super Shock shade. It also has a slightly different texture to it than the other ones. It's crumbly is not really the right word, but a little bit more crumbly than the others. So I'm gonna swatch that right here. But look how much more pigmented that shade is. There's a lot more pigment in the base than the others. You can definitely see that fuchsia kind of coloring in there. 
along with those blue and champagne reflex. Such a gorgeous shade and definitely much different than the other three, but I love it. This is a great lid shade and it's not just a topper. You can use this all over the lid and just be this beautiful pigmented shimmer shade. One of my favorite Super Shock shadows of all time. It is just so beautiful on the lids. So these are some gorgeous pink shades, but you definitely see that this one's a little bit more punchy than the other ones. These are more topper kind of shades. Well, we have three kind of neutral metallics. Let's start out with this one here. This is in shade Amaze. This is another one that I constantly, constantly reach for. It, you can see the swirls in the pan. It just is so, so pretty. Ugh, I love it. So much glitter in here and it's this beautiful neutral shimmer. Ugh, wow, look at that. This is why I love Super Shock formulas so much. They're just jam packed with glitter and shine and they just make your eyes look so beautiful. So yeah, there is shade Amaze. Now this one is the metallic. This is in shade Weenie. <laughs> and this one, if I remember correctly, doesn't have as much glitter in it, but it still is this beautiful copper. Yeah, so you can definitely see there's not as much glitter going on. There's no chunks of glitter or anything. It's just straight up metallic, but still really beautiful. One swipe swatch situation on the lid. Very, very nice. Now let's compare that to the gold. So as you can see, these shades are very similar, but I would say this one's just a more glittery, lighter, like yellower tone than this one. All right, now this is a true gold. This is in shade Cheap Date. Wow, I didn't notice that before, that's funny. All right, this one is pretty glittery if I remember correctly. All right. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so there is that bright yellow gold. It's definitely not as glittery as the top one, but it still has that beautiful metallic kind of thing going on. Love that shade. Ugh, so, so pretty. So we have Amaze, Weenie, and Cheap Date. Beautiful, neutral, kind of metallic tones. Very, very nice. So I think my top favorite one would be Amaze, just out of the couple, because it has all that glitter in it, but all three are beautiful and great additions to my collection. All right, look how beautiful my hand looks already with all of these super shock shadows. Oh my God, my hand's gonna be so glittery. Let's just add some more glitter to the mix, huh? So this one is a clear base with just a bunch of glitter reflect. This is in shade Ladybird. This is one of my older Super Shock shadows. Might have to get a new one soon just because I use this so often, but it, it may be starting to dry out just because of how old it is. I mean, it's years and years and years old, but it has stood the test of time. This is my, this is probably my top favorite Super Shock shadow. It very much reminds me of the Fenty Diamond Bomb in How Many Carrots. This is so pretty. It just looks like wet glitter on your face <laughs> on, or on your eyes, but you can also use it on your face, I believe. But, oh my gosh, the camera didn't even wanna pick that up. Wow, that was crazy. Look at that. It's just, it kind of reads as a champagne-y white kind of a glitter, but it reflects like green and blue and yellow and pink and it doesn't even wanna focus. It's just something that you can layer on top of any shimmer shade, any color underneath, and it's transparent base will peek that through and it'll just be this beautiful glitter on top. I love this shade so much. There are a few shades that are my all time favorites and this is one of them. It's just so stunning. <laughs> the last two that are not part of the vault set are a little bit more unique in the sense of they're ones that I don't really use a lot, but they're still pretty. Um, this one is probably my first Super Shock shadow that I ever got. I actually got this in, hmm, I got this in college. A ColourPop representative came to our sorority. I think one of our sorority sisters worked for ColourPop at the time and they were just starting. And this was right when they were rolling out Super Shock shadows. Yeah, I'm old, <laughs> but this is in shade Party of Five. I don't know if this is still a shade that's available or not, but this is her, she's beautiful. And maybe I'm misremembering that, but I, I do remember we got Super Shock Shadows in the little set of stuff that we got. 
This is this nice burgundy, almost Merlot kind of shade with bright blue and champagne reflex in it. Wow. It's definitely older. The texture is a little different than the rest of them, but still works and still is really beautiful. So I'm going to swatch this right underneath this one just because I feel like they could be very similar shades. Okay, yeah. So it didn't swatch as good, but I think it's also because it's an older formula. So this shade right here is, I think, what they were trying to do with that one right there. This one is just the... Whoop, this one's just the newer version of that, but it's <laughs> it's cracked. It's been through a lot, but she was beautiful. She reminds me of the time that I got this. So yeah, more sentimental reasons of keeping this one around. I could declutter it because of the formula, but mm, I just, I don't know. I can't bring myself to do it. This one is in shade Coconut, and this is a bright blue. It's more of a metallic than a glitter. You can see a little bit of glitter reflect in there, but it's mostly when you put on your lid more of a metallic shade. It's this bright like ocean water kind of blue, just Caribbean kind of blue. It's so pretty. I just wish that I wore it more, but I mean, look how pigmented that is. It's stunning. And I do believe that this is still a shade that they have. I don't think they got rid of it. Wow. <laughs> you see all that glitter reflect in there? There's a hint of green. There's like turquoise and blue reflex in there as well, but it's super pigmented and just all, this all over the lid, especially if you have a black base or black eyeshadow underneath, this will really pop and just be so stunning. So yeah, this is a very unique shade in my collection for Super Shock Shadows because it's not something I usually obviously gravitate towards neutrals but this one is so unique and beautiful. Love it. This is, again, this is shade Coconut. Almost matches my nails. Very close, actually. This is the swatches of all of the shadows, all of the Super Shock shadows that I have that are in my own personal collection before the vault. So I bought these all separately, or I received these all separately, but that means that I actually picked these shades and curated these shades myself. So these are the things that I normally gravitate towards in my everyday makeup, it's, except for the coconut one. That was a little bit more of a shock, <laughs> pardon the pun, but I still really love it and I still get a lot of use out of it. So yep, yeah, that is the first part of this video. And now let's go ahead and dive in to swatches of the Is This Real Life Super Shock Shadow Vault. Let's start with the first shade. And that is called Moon and Swoon. And it is one of their duo shades. As you can see, this is like a bright, like a white to a blue kind of duochrome. And then you have this fuchsia kind of color. So pretty. This fuchsia is more metallic and this one's more glittery. So it's actually kind of cool that they put those together. Again, these exact shades may not be still available. I'm not sure. Some of them may be still existing shades and some of them may have just been for the vault. I am not sure, but I just wanted to swatch all the ones that I had for you in case you found one that's very, very similar that you were debating on getting. So let's start off with the fuchsia one. So this bright fuchsia metallic and then the white to blue kind of glitter shade both really, really pretty. Sorry, my under my nails are dirty because I've been doing swatches all day. <laughs> Don't judge. There's the fuchsia shade. And there is the transparent kind of blue glitter. Now it has a transparent base and the bright blue glitter with the shift. So when you turn your hand or on your eyes and you turn a certain way, you can't see the glitter. And then when you turn again, it shows up the metallic is nice, but definitely that blue glitter topper is something that I would probably reach into more just because I love those glittery super shock shadows. If I'm going to be reaching into one of these, it's going to be for glitter. It's not usually for something that's just metallic, but it's a beautiful duo. You can put the metallic pink down first and then do the glitter on top and it would just make this beautiful pink base with blue glitter which would be a beautiful combination. Next up, we have one of my favorite shades in the whole vault and one of my favorite shades of all time that they've done. This is Ice Dream. 
This is like Elsa fantasy right here. It's a beautiful glitter, very similar to the moon shade, I think, but it's more brightly packed with glitter. As you can see, it looks much different than the moon side it is like all blue. It's not just glitter reflex. It's just like it has this base of this blue shift to it. So yeah, let's swatch them next to each other. Look at that. Oh my God. It's so pretty. Okay. So here is that moon shade. I'm going to swatch right next to it. So we see the difference. Oh yeah. You can absolutely tell. So this one's jam packed with pigment and glitter. The other one's more of a glitter topper that's kind of sheer. So that's the difference. And there's also some pink reflect in this Ice Dream shade. You can kind of see, and it's just more pigmented and rich than the other one. So, so pretty. This is what I would imagine like the Aurora shade should be because it transforms from this pink to blue and is super sparkly. I know that they did come out with a Super Shock Shadow Vault for the Disney Princesses. I was debating on that, but I have so many shadows that I didn't want to add more to my collection as of right now, just because I have so many and I already needed to do a video like this. So it was just going to get overwhelming. Next up is another one of my absolute favorite shades that I've used so often. I actually have another one. So this one I bought myself. This was Voila. And this one I got separately one time. I, I can't remember where I got this from, but I had this one in shade Voila. And then there's also another one in the vault. So I have two of them, but obviously one for me and one is for my friend. So yeah, it's, I'm not using both of them. I'm not being wasteful, but one's a little older, one's a little newer, but that's the only difference. They are both in shade Voila. And yeah, let's go ahead and swatch. So this is a beautiful like lavender, but with a blue and champagne kind of reflect. It also has a little bit of pink in there. It's hard to tell, but it's like baby pink and light blue reflex in the light lavender kind of pigment. It has just such a beautiful quality to it. It's a little on the sheer side. It's not overly purple, but it's just stunning. <laughs> I know I say that a lot, but wow. I mean, look at that. Look, look. So you definitely do see that purple, especially that. So when you shift your hand like this, you can really see the base of the shadow. So you see how the other ones were transparent bases or with a little bit of pink like this one was but you can see that purple base and then the champagne and blue reflex in the shade. So uh, I've used this shade so often. Again, one of my favorite Super Shock shades. If you would like me to rank <laughs> my favorite ones or just simply do a list dedicated to my favorite ones from the ColourPop Super Shock shadows, and I will be glad to do that. Just let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Next up, we have a beautiful shade. This is called Illusional. This is like a deep royal blue, but it also has a little bit of a shift to it. Look at the glitter in here. So some of these deeper shades, it's harder for me to use because they're for very specific looks, but shades like this would pair beautifully with um, like the blends palette from Blend Bunny. It's an all matte palette with a bunch of colors in there. So Super Shock Shadows would pair beautifully with it. Because this is a shade Illusional and it has a little bit of a flip to it. It's like a purple. You see the purple here and then it goes to a deep royal blue. You can kind of see it a little bit better on my finger. But let's swatch. There she is. What a just absolutely gorgeous shade. This, I love royal blues, but especially when they have a purple flip to them, I just think that makes them so rich and deep. This is a very unique shade. It's very much giving me like space kind of vibes, very galaxy vibes, and it has a lot of glitter in there, but it's not over the top glitter. It has a lot of base pigment to it, so it's a very rich shadow. We have shade Shook Up, and this is a neutral kind of bronzy, coppery shade, but with some interesting kind of reflex in there. So it has this beautiful sun embossing. I forgot to mention, some of them have embossments, some of them don't. This one obviously had the diamond embossing. It's a little hard to tell because I've used it so much, 
but they do come embossed. This one's the Sun. I use this a lot, so you can kind of see it's not as crisp as it originally was. But look at these reflex in there. It has almost like a green gold reflect behind that copper. So pretty. And this is one of those jam-packed glittery shades. I mean, look at that. So it definitely has some pink reflect in there, some green to green and golds in there. And it has that beautiful base pigment of that coppery gold shade. Just stunning. So when you're wearing it on your lid, you can see this pigment all the time. And then when it catches the light, it just shines so many different colors. I absolutely love this shade. Just wow. I mean, the formula is usually really good, especially for these hyper glittery shades. Um, the metallics I wouldn't recommend as much. I just don't think they offer enough oomph, but the glitter ones always do. They always give me that look that I want. So definitely would recommend the formula. It's just a matter of what color you like best, <laughs> really. And hopefully this actually helps. Even if not all these shades are still available, you can at least find one that's similar. All right, so this one's a little bit different. This is called Chase the Light, and this is kind of a marbled shade. It's a little hard to tell in the pan, but you can kind of see the remnants of the marbling a little bit, but it's mostly this like coppery champagne shade, and it has a little bit of pink reflect in there along with your champagne reflect, but it is a really pretty shade, but you can definitely tell the difference between this one and the one above it it really makes the different color reflex stand out. So you see that top copper shade that we just swatched is more green and pink reflect. And this one is more of pink only kind of reflect with maybe a hint of yellow in there. And you can see the base colors are different. This one obviously is a little bit more like yellow leaning and this one's more copper leaning but then the reflex are different as well. So sometimes looking at the pan, they look similar. And then when you actually put them on, they look totally different. But do you, would you need both of these in your collection? Maybe not, just depending on who you are, but beautiful shades. I have a feeling that a lot of people are gonna love this shade. I personally love it. I just don't wear yellows too often, but just this is such a cute shade. So this is called Floating, and this is a yellow, shade with a bright like teal kind of reflect. I have not seen a shade like this before. This is very unique. Ugh, the star embossing so cute, but it's so soft and buttery. And then that glitter in there is just amazing. So many people like yellow eyeshadow. I just haven't, it's not my favorite in the world, but this shade is something else. If I want yellow, I'm wearing this shade. It's a bright, yellow shadow with that green teal kind of reflect and it just looks so good i would have never thought to pair the green reflect with the yellow shade but oh my gosh look at that it's just color pop i don't know what you doing in there but it's gorgeous look at that very unique in my collection i'm glad they included it especially for everyone out there who loves yellows. So many people love the Aha uh -huh Honey palette from ColourPop, and I feel like this would be a beautiful addition to like use that on the side and partner it with that palette. Next up, we have another shade that I am in love with, <laughs> just because I have green eyes and I just feel like this shade really makes my eyes pop. So this is called Left on Thread, and it is this bright turquoisey teal with a moon embossing and lots of glitter. So it has a turquoise base and turquoise glitter, but it definitely has a lot of reflect in there. Oh, wow. So like, this is what I imagine the Jasmine shade should be. Like her outfit is this shade. Sorry, I keep using Disney Princess references, but they just did a vault like that. And this is why I'm justifying me not buying the vault because I'm like, wow, this would be Jasmine's shade right here. Like, wow. This one I could see for either Tiana, I think maybe Tiana, cause you know how her dress is yellow and then Princess and the Frog, like green, all about the green. Um, but I think that would be like a cute way of doing Princess and the Frog without doing like a lime green but this is just epitome of Jasmine's outfit. That teal is iconic, <laughs> but I love this shade all over the lid. 
and honestly like sometimes I don't even need any mattes with it I could just put this all over the lid and be fine and just be one done kind of look it's gorgeous I love it it makes my green eyes pop and I love that the pigment is still there even when the glitter is not so this is one of those shades that is just like super pigmented as a base love it next up we have shades dawn and fawn this is another duo you can already tell that these are very warm toned shadows with some glitter reflect in them so we have this bronzy kind of shade with some pink reflect and then we have the i don't know what to call this shade kind of like a cranberry a little bit so it's a metallic cranberry shade with the pink reflex in it both of these look absolutely beautiful let's go ahead and swatch Ooh, yeah that had pigment for days so these are gorgeous oh my gosh i never wear reds like this but this kind of makes me want to wear it the gold obviously i would rock that any day it's very neutral you could wear it any day of the week and be fine you can wear it to work whatever but this is just so unique i love that it's a metallic shade with lots of glitter that would be my favorite kind of formula so yeah, gorgeous shades. And you can really see those pink reflex in the gold and the coral kind of reflex in that cranberry shade. Wow. <laughs> Next one looks very similar to a different shade. This is called Nocturnal. And this one looks very similar to the shade Voila. So I'm gonna hold them up next to each other. So just so you know. So really you can see that there is a difference. This one's like more, uh, more a deeper purple and this one's more of a blue lilac kind of shade so when you the shifts are very similar but this one's more pink in the shift and this one's just more blue to purple and this one has like a purple with a bunch of different reflex in it but you can definitely see this one's more of a shift and this one's more of just glitter reflect not as much of a duochrome but i did want to show you those just because they could be very similar to each other. You know, I'm gonna swatch them together actually because it might be hard to tell. So this is Voila. And I'm gonna put these right on top just to make it easier. So that's shade Voila, we've already swatched her, we love her. But this one is the shade Nocturnal and it has that marbling in there. You can't tell if you can see that on screen but it definitely is a marbled shade and it has some pink in there and that dark purple, but also some of that blue reflex along with the pink as well. Really when the camera starts like not focusing, you could see the reflex. There's also some champagne reflex in there. So this is them next to each other. Very, very similar, very slight differences. The, this one has way less champagne reflex, more pink and blue, and this one has more blue and champagne. So really, would you need both of those in your collection? That would be up to you, but they're stunning, they're beautiful, we love them. <laughs> Next up, we have another gold shade. This is, ooh, this is Rainbow Connection, and this is just this bright gold. I don't even know, like, how to describe this gold. It's not a pale yellow gold. This is like, I don't know, like you'd think of Trophy Wife by uh, Fenty, like a yellow gold shade, not a like neutral gold. It is stunning, packed with glitter, and it has these little sparkle embossings in there. I love that. All right, let's put that underneath this one. Okay, so you can definitely see the tone is different than the other one. It's definitely much more like sunflower yellow. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about. This is a sunflower gold. It's gorgeous, has some gold reflex. <sighs> Just wow. And this is what I picture like golden hour to be in an eyeshadow. So definitely if you're looking for that sunshine warmth in a, in a shadow, this is it. It's easier for me to describe colors of shadows by like feelings or associate them with something like golden hour. I don't know why, I'm, I have trouble like saying this kind of shade is a warmer toned purple shade or something like that. So I kind of go by like what I feel when I see the shadow, just as a heads up if you get confused as to how I'm kind of describing things, but yeah. 
Next up is NYX and NOX, and this is another duo shade. Now this is definitely another kind of like Elsa's dream kind of duo here, and it has this silver with the bright blue, and then this turquoise with the kind of silver reflex. So it's kind of like a yin yang of like these icy tones. So let's go ahead and swatch. This turquoise is definitely a lot lighter and more like almost towards the sky blue side than the other turquoise that we just swatched. And it's a lot more sheer. You can see it doesn't have that deep turquoise pigment in it. It definitely has this light blue kind of shade to it. And then this one is this bright metallic silver with blue reflex. It also has a little bit of silver in there too, but there it is. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I've used both of these on the lid for like this icy winter look and I love it. Silver is so pretty. You can also kind of see how the camera's not focusing and you can see the pink and blue and yellow in the silver shade. And then in that other blue shade, you can see the kind of like almost pale gold reflex that are with the silver in this blue shade. There's just so many different glitter kind of reflex in all these shades that you barely get to see unless you're in low lighting or like the camera can kind of pick it up when it's kind of going fuzzy a little bit. All right, next up, we're switching gears a little bit with a bright Barbie pink. This is called Sleep Tight and wow. I mean, like I just put that over, it looks neon. The lips embossing in there is perfect because this is like a bright Barbie pink to me. So, Malibu Barbie would be impressed. And I know ColourPop just did a collaboration with Malibu Barbie, so it's very fitting. But wow, I mean, just look at that. All right, let's swatch that here. Oh my gosh, yes. So this one definitely has a lot of that pink pigment in there. So I guarantee you that's gonna be one that's gonna stain the lid. <laughs> I just know it, but it has a lot of that pink reflect in there and a hint of that kind of champagne in there, but it's mostly pink on pink. But you know, hey, pink on pink is good. <laughs> but this is gorgeous. Don't take a shot every time I say gorgeous, stunning. I don't have a big vocabulary when it comes to shiny objects that are beautiful. So <laughs> there's that, just a disclaimer. Or drink some water, you thirsty hoe. Next up. <laughs> This is called Take Me Higher, and this is a nice like sky blue shade that also has a little bit of that marbling in it, but I've used it before and you, it, the marbling kind of gets lost when you swirl around in there, but it has this kind of pale green reflect along with the blue and the silver a little bit, but wow, is that a pretty shade. So this is very much like an ice blue, but it's definitely more on that cool, um, like mid-tone blue. It's like, so you can see this one's more of your sky, almost leaning teal blue. And this one is a little harder to describe. Very Cinderella, you know, that's a good explanation. Cinderella's dress, that is it. Like the glass slipper and Cinderella's dress, that is the perfect shade of blue. It's like a silvery light blue. That's it, done. <laughs> and then you have that silver reflect in there. Yeah, this would be perfect for Cinderella. Oh my God, just take the, let me let me pick these shades for the princesses. I got you, okay? Like, wow. Maybe it's basic to pair the dress with, pair the princess's dress with a color, but like, come on, that's perfect, spot on, okay? If you make a Cinderella palette, this better be in it, okay? ColourPop, I'm talking to you. I love this shade, I really do. <laughs> Getting it back with the orange and the warm tone. This one I don't get much use out of, but it's still beautiful. This is called Shy Guy, and it has the little smiley face embossing. So happy, so fun. Orange is a nice, happy color. And it's like this orange metallic with some like bright orange reflex. Very cute, we love her, but we don't get a lot of use out of her. So there she is. She's definitely more on the sheer side when you compare it to that hot pink and that other coral kind of cranberry shade, but very nice orange kind of glitter topper. Really pretty, just doesn't get as much of a use in my collection because it's orange and that's just not a shade I use a lot unless it's paired with blue. <laughs> that's the only time I do. 
Next up, we have, ooh, okay, this is another shade that I don't get a lot of use out of, but it's really, really pretty. This is called Millennium, and it has a lip embossing, I think. It did have a lip embossing, but I actually swatched it and used it a bit more, and it just, I, I guess I have used this more than I thought. I forgot about that, because they're very specific. I think I used it a lot around Valentine's Day. That makes sense. It's very kind of... Very Valentine's Day-esque, but there is the swatch right there. It's kind of almost like a rust to pink duochrome. It's a very interesting shade. I don't know really how to describe it, honestly. Very much like box of chocolates around Valentine's Day. You have a little bit of that orangey brown chocolate shade, and then you have that bright red for the box. That's the best way I could describe it. <laughs> Again, sorry if that's weird and just off topic, but that's how I see this shade. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe with a hand clean, but wow, I mean, come on. Okay, we have nine shadows left. Now we have shade Dozen Off, which is a purple shade with, again, some blue reflect, but it still looks completely different than the others. This is a more like mid-toned, deeper purple, and it has a lot of glitter in it. So I'm not gonna swatch them next to the other two purples. I feel like we get the point. Sometimes they can be similar, but it does kind of give me voila vibes, not gonna lie, but without the pink reflect. So again, if you're looking for a specific shade, a lot of these shades are getting similar. We've had three shades that are pretty similar so far, but this one's definitely more on the icy blue purple shift and not any pink in there. So that is the difference. Still a very beautiful shade. Just be careful about kind of duping yourself. If you're gonna be buying these Super Shock shadows, you don't wanna do that too often unless you're buying a vault or something and then it's not as bad. But really love all the reflex in there, the silver, the blue, and the purple. And it definitely has a little bit of a base that's purple, but it is a little bit on the sheer side as well. All right, now we have another duo. This is in Miss and Bliss, and this is a bright, like, swampy green and a champagne kind of shade with some pink and blue reflect. This is definitely an interesting combo. It is nice because this is on the warm side, so it does kind of tie in with the green a little bit, but the blue and the pink in here is just different. Like, I wouldn't have necessarily paired these shades together, on my own, like if I were gonna pair two shades together, but they do work. This green shade has my heart. I this I love this kind of green. I love greens in general, and especially a swampy, grungy green. This is like Princess and the Frog, Louie the Alligator. Yes, that is like Louisiana swamp green. This is what I picture it as. It's got the golds in there, it's got a little bit of a champagne in there, but it's all of this light, swampy, grungy green. Love it so, so much. <laughs> and now this one, this one's definitely more of a sheer topper, but like I said, you got the pink and blue reflex in there and it's definitely more of a champagne base. Really pretty, definitely an interesting combo in this one shade here, but really gorgeous. But I reach into this green shade, a ton. Okay, so this is shade in Axis, and it's this beautiful copper shade. We have had coppers before, but this one's more like an orange rusty copper, and it has some bright gold kind of reflex in there. Just such a gorgeous shade. Not too, too much of a base pigment, just a little bit of copper as a base, and then it has a little bit of gold reflect and some kind of yellow in there too, which I really like. But yeah, great neutral option if you're looking for like coppery gold super shock. Next up, this is one of the most unique shades that I have. This is called Rest More. And it's a periwinkle kind of, but a deeper periwinkle. It's just, I don't know, like a purpley blue with a little bit of pink reflect. And I don't know, it's just very unique. It almost looks royal blue, but it has this purple, like deep purple kind of richness in there and it's jam packed with glitter. 
It's one of the most unique shadows in my collection, not just in my ColourPop collection, but I mean, wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at the reflex in there, all the pink and the blue just jumping out, but it just on this like periwinkle kind of unique base. I don't know. I just, I don't really have any other shades like that in my collection. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Look at the glitter in there and the rainbow embossing. Come on. So pretty. All right, we have five shades left. So let's go ahead and do this. So this is shade above the clouds. And it is this beautiful kind of like, I don't know, like radioactive green. <laughs> like a yellow green with bright neon green reflex in it. Such a pretty shade. It's very unique. Almost like a gold, but with green in it very very pretty oh i love that <laughs> i feel like that would pair beautifully with my natasha denona mini gold palette i love that like swampy yellowy green with the bright almost bluish green reflex mm, so pretty another very unique shade and i love the embossing of the cloud next up another beautiful shade this is shade snooze this is what i picture a thunderstorm to be. I don't know why, like a storm, a dark, deep storm, but with raindrops. Like, look at the yellow in there, almost like a starry night as well. <laughs> Again, with these descriptions, but it's kind of like this dark blue base with these bright blue and bright yellow reflex. It's just, I mean, this all over the lid is just all you need. Wow, just wow. There's so many different colors going on. Light blues, deep purples, green, gold, all in this black base. But it's not like a deep black, it's like, but kind of like a smoky gray color, which I just really, really love. Ugh, oh, this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. We got, let's see, three more shades. Let's do it. All right, next up we have a shade called Thought Bubble. And this is kind of like a brown with a bunch of different glitter reflex. It's almost like a purpley brown. Yeah, like, I don't know. I guess I would say it was. A, it's a taupe with a bunch of different reflex in there. It's got some pinks, some blues, some purples, some gold. It's a little bit of one of those marbling shades, but the marbling's kind of gone. It's definitely like a unique taupey kind of shimmer and you can really see all of those reflex in there. Another really grungy kind of unique shade to add some oomph to like a neutral shade. If you were just gonna do like a neutral brown in your crease and then add this, oh, perfect. Perfection. I really do love when they add so many different reflex to one shade. It gives so much depth and when you're looking at the eye, you just like every time you look, you see something new and different. Look at that. I mean, the pinks, the golds, the blue, just. Mm, I love it. Second to last, we've got shade Dream Lover. This is another one that looks kind of like the other ones that we have swatched, but this one you can clearly see a huge shift. This is a very much a duochrome, multi-chrome kind of situation going on here. So you have this bright blue to purple to pink. I mean, with a lot of glitter in there. Such a beautiful, unique shade. You can really see the duochrome when I have it on my hand like that. So deep pink, purple, blue. So pretty. Look at that. Ugh. So you really see like the pink in the base color and then that bright blue purple reflect comes out. Ugh, wow. So it's definitely not too much of a base color. It is a little bit on the sheer side. You will need to pack it on if you really want full opacity. But again, as a topper, just wow. If this was just a hair more opaque, I would say it would be rivaling an indie brand, but wow. I mean, it's still a beautiful shade. Look at it in the pan. I just wish it was that opaque in the pan. But maybe if you wet a brush and use it like that, I usually apply these with a finger, but maybe if you wet a brush, maybe you can get it to full opacity like that. But it is a gorgeous shade nonetheless. It kind of has a wine tone color and then like purple and blue reflect. Last but not least, 
This one's kind of a boring one to end on. It's not as hyper glittery as the others in the set, but this is shade Days and Phase, and it is a two-toned kind of shade. You have this bright, like, sky-ish blue, almost leaning white, like an icy sky blue, and then you have this icy copper shade. Both of them are really, really pretty, <laughs> but, and they are glittery. They're just not as hyper glittery as some of the ones that we've seen today, but I just went in order in the set, so but still really pretty. I mean, I'm not gonna knock that. It's just a little bit more underwhelming when you've seen like the periwinkle shade and all those other shades, but they're really pretty, okay? Sometimes subtle is good. I just, I have to remember that. But I mean, come on, when you look at that on my hand and you look at the other shades, you're like, mm, next. <laughs> It is what it is. It is what it is. But if you want something punchy, I would not recommend that particular shade. That was our last Super Shock shadow that we have for today. I hope that was helpful to you guys. I'm not sure what they're going to be bringing back, what they're going to be repeating. I don't know if some are limited edition or not, or if they are going to truly bring back all of them just in different packaging later. I don't know. I just exist. I just work here, okay? <laughs> I hope this was helpful to you in some way so that you could see all of the different shades and options that ColourPop has. The Super Shock formula is one of my favorite formulas in my collection for eyeshadows. I just love it so much. It packs so much punch, so much glitter. You, If you would like me to do another kind of video like this with a different category of makeup or a different palette, if you want me to live swatch a palette, let me know. Um, if you want me to do it with like a certain brand's shimmer shades, I will be down to do that as well. Cause like, I feel like Kaleidos could be a cool brand to do that with. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these types of videos. Uh, if you enjoyed this kind of video as well, did you find this helpful? Did you find this redundant? I would don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm just trying to help here. I'm just, I just work here, okay? <laughs> But thank you so much for clicking. Thank you for watching. I hope you stay happy, safe, and healthy in this crazy world. And please do remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. I will be here. I've been posting a lot of content lately. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.